up? All right, all right, here we are. We're still in Louisiana, and it's a continuation from yesterday. We are about, yeah, Calhoun, Louisiana. We're 103 miles from being in Texas. We are 288 miles from delivery. And, uh, yeah. So, yeah, let's go, let's go, let's get this done. Let's get this load delivered, folks. Let's go. Well, I'm in that upload battle with my editing app again. Did it get up to 95%, 90, hell, it made it all the way up to 99%, and then it falls back to 95. Then it go to 97, back to 95, 99, back to 95. Just like, come on. Now I'm probably gonna, you know, I had a good resolution on this video, uh, and now I'm probably gonna have to lower the resolution in order to get the video to upload. I really don't want to do that. So it looks like I'm going to have to. But anyhow, that's neither here nor there. We are 52 miles from the state line, folks. 52 miles. <laughs> and, uh, yep, yep. We're getting her done, getting her done. We got 238 miles to delivery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wild thing custom meats. That's what it says on the back of that truck. Okay. Anywho. Uh, yeah. Uh, I just want to stop taking math. <laughs> I don't feel like driving today. I'm tired now. I think I'll go home. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Someday, maybe, but not yet today. But, anywho. Oh, yeah, right up here on the left. We're fixing to see them up here on the left, folks. I'm going to go on and get the camera ready. They'll be in the field over there on the left. You'll see there's a couple of cab overs. And there is a Peterbilt. And I think there's a needle nose Kenworth over there. An old Kenworth, like a 60 something model Kenworth needle nose. Right over here in this field. Right. Over there. Yep, see it. Yes, sir. Right here at the 49. So, yes, if you are want to build you a show truck, I mean, granted, them trucks, they all need work. They ain't pro probably none of them road worthy. But if you're in the market to buy a truck to build, or even, you know, you probably get that pretty cheap, and, and then you, you're going to build a truck, you're going to start from the ground up, tear it down to the frame, and if you build a show truck, you got to tear it down to the frame to start. And right there is a good start. Especially that needle nose. That needle nose? Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. But, I don't have money like that. I, hell, if I could buy a truck, I'd buy one. I wouldn't be working for somebody else. I don't. I ain't even got a damn car right now. <laughs> More or less buying a truck. Uh, anyhow, we all know how that happened. I did have a car. I bought it. And then five days later, it got told. So yeah, needless to say, I ain't got another one since then. I'm still without a car, but that's neither here nor there. Anywho, I'll get back with you folks a little bit. Here folks, we got us a W9, yes sir, yes sir. With a good old six inch straight, yep, yep. 
pulling old stinking ass bull rag. Oh, that is it. You ain't got to worry about getting pissed on by no cattle. <laughs> yeah, it's still funkified. Jeez. Hey, ain't no getting away from that smell. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've never hauled nothing like that, but I'm pretty sure, you know, I got a weak stomach, but I could probably do that because the smell is, you go, the smell is going to be behind you. You going down the road, you ain't going to smell it. Everybody behind you going to smell it, but you ain't. Well, I used to haul trash. I've done trash hauling for about four years. And I hauled it in a live bottom trailer and uh, hauled it from the transfer station to the landfill. Yeah. And, you know, I didn't think I'd be able to do that, but I didn't have a problem with it. Oh, that's a good looking Bronco there. I like them wheels. Yeah, buddy. I like them wheels he got on that Bronco. Yeah, yeah, them Broncos are nice, but they sought after. You got a special order, and then you got to wait a year or two before you get it. damn production vehicle. Oh well. I won't ever have nothing like that neither. That, that damn expensive ass vehicle. That's neither here nor there. Anywho, yeah, I'm just rambling on now. I'll get back with you close in a little bit. We are 44 miles from the state line. 44 from the state line. No, 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 right, folks. Here we are. We getting on 220. Yep, yep. We still got the detour around. But that's all right. It's not too bad. I don't think I've been through Treeport since they started, or since I started this YouTube. I haven't been able to go through Treeport. Well, when they do get done with it, we will go through three more. Yep, yep. All right, after that, we go, Charlie. Look at our water tower. That ain't a pretty cool. Says we salute our first responder, Mosier City. Yep, yep. Folks, here we are. This is Cross Lake. Yep, yep. We're crossing about every other day. Here we are crossing it again. One day, folks, one day. Maybe not in this lifetime, maybe after I'm reincarnated, but one day I'm going to live on some water. <laughs> uh huh. Anywho. We're about three miles. Three miles from getting back on I-20. Three miles, folks. All right, folks, here we are getting back on I-20. Yep, yep. 196 miles to go. I've done like 15 minutes off my arrival time. So that's good. Because originally I was going to arrive at 5 o'clock Eastern time, and now it's 4.50. So, hell yeah. You just got to stay with it. Keep that left door closed, and you'll make up time, folks. Well, what we got here, folks? It says, sweet old buzzard. Yeah, that sweet old W9. That's right, even got a buzzard. That's cool. Yes, sir. That's pretty nifty. We got five miles. Well, no, folks. Yeah, five miles to the state line and three and a half miles to the scale. Yep, yep. So we are fixing to be in Texas. Go to Lone Star State. Yep, yep. Let's go. Let's go.
Hey folks, I'm sorry. I was on the phone. I did record coming into Texas. I showed the sign, welcome to Texas sign, but anyhow, I, y'all didn't get no audio, so welcome to Texas, folks. Damn, that was a good looking Pete going the other way. Yeah, welcome to Texas, folks. That's right. We have 150 miles to go. 150 to go. Well, boy, it's flying. Yes, sir. He's drugging up. Yeah, I'm doing 73, and he went by me like I was sitting still. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> now I feel like I'm crawling again. Now, I don't know what just happened, but we come to a complete stop and then took off again. What in the world is going on with people out here? Are you serious right now? Yep, yep. Are you serious? Uh, anywho, I'll get it back up to speed here in the next 30 miles. 115 to go, folks. 115 to go. Well, going on three weeks now. That same train in the same spot. Well, I wonder what's going on with that train. They just storing the trailers there or something. Uh, storing them train cars right there. I mean, I, I'm sure they ain't no locomotive hook to them for three weeks. I mean, that. Unless the, uh, the engine broke down, but you would think if they was product on that train, they didn't have somebody else hooked to that and move it. So I don't know. That's just weird for three weeks now that train sitting in the same spot. Well, here we have it, folks. More traffic, and I'm still 47 miles away from where I got to cut across to go into downtown Dallas. So, this makes no sense. Yeah, there's a water park, and it is full. Man, that many people all work today? Jeez. Anywho. Yeah not understanding the traffic right now but it will be all right we'll get through it have 75 miles to go and two hours and 55 minutes to get there so yeah we're good on time anyways well not looking good folks this is not good this is going to be the norm all the way in and through Dallas. This last 69 miles is going to take every bit of my two hours and 45 minutes. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. And we get old Peterbilt towing a Peterbilt dump truck. Yep, yep. All that from the storms a couple weeks ago. Alright, folks, we're on 80 now, cutting across. We're on 80 on cutting across. We have 46 miles to go. I just added five minutes to my time by going this way. I don't know why, but it added, it added a little more time. I guess it's a little longer this way, but I ain't been this way in a while. I've been taking that 175 across. So I figured I'd go this way today. So let's see if I made a mistake. No. So let's go. 30 miles to go, folks. 30 miles to go. Look at the traffic coming out of Dallas. 
maybe I'll get lucky and won't have to deal with none of that going in. But, yeah. Probably not. Not with my luck. But it's all good. We ain't got but 30 miles to go. Look at that, folks. First American built supercar. That's right, that's right. The Corvette is considered a supercar. But that's the first right there. The original Corvettes with the front engine wasn't considered supercars. Now these mid-engine Corvettes are considered supercars. Alright, folks. As you can see, I'm still fighting the Dallas traffic. We got 13 miles to go, but we are getting there. Slowly but surely, we are getting there. I was just on the phone with the boss man. I didn't know he watched my YouTube, but evidently he does. He was telling me, he's like, John, you know, I can tell when you're, uh, when you're holding your phone and it's not on your mount. Uh, what are you talking about? I got a mount in my window for that. He said, no, I can tell when you're holding it. I'm like, nah, I don't be holding it. <laughs> he said, yeah, you do. I can tell when it's moving. I was like, oh, so you watch my videos? Yes. He's watching my videos. So what's up, boss man? See, I put it in the mouth. <laughs> yeah, normally, when the sun is beating down on the dash like it is right now, that's the only time I hold it because it gets my phone hot and then I gotta put it in front of the vent. But, anywho, it is what it is. We fighting traffic, folks. Typical day in Dallas. And then I just found out I got to go to Waco. Yay! What a deal. There's the old Renaissance Hotel. That was built in the early 80s, folks. I know I was talking about it one day on here. I wasn't sure. I thought it was older than that, but I mean, still the early 80s. That still makes it 40, 40 years old. Yeah, it was built in 83. That makes that 40 year old building. But anyhow, yeah, see the traffic over there? I got to come through that. Oh, God, I don't want to have to do that. Uh, anyhow. All right, folks. I'll get back with y'all here in a little bit. Look, people. Traffic. It's as far as you can see. Traffic. Not good. Not good at all. All right, all right, folks. Here we are. Are we coming up to 183? Yep, yep, 183. And then from there, we got to go to 114. No, no, I'm on 114 now, I think. Yeah, I'm on 114 now, and then 183, and then, uh, yeah, we go from here to Valley View Lane. Yep, yep. In two miles, keep left to Texas uh, what a deal. West bums under there sleeping. Huh. Blue Jeep. It's not Blue Jeep. Alright, I'll get back with you folks in a little bit. Alright, folks. Alright, here we are. We're four miles. Well, four and a half miles from our exit. Here's the big flags. On that side and on this side over here. Yep, yep. Oh, and we are coming to a stop again. Yep, yep. What a deal. All right, well. Anywho, I'll get back with y'all when we get to the exit. Folks, here we are at our exit. Yep, yep. Valley View Lane. Oh boy, I don't need these bumps right now. My damn eyeballs are swimming. 
Oh, not good. Not good. All right, all right. Yep. Anywho, get down here, make a right at the light, and the second left, and we'll be on the yard, folks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Turn right at the traffic light, then take the second left. Oh, uh, yep. Making it a right turn. Oh, the light's yellow. I'm going for it, folks. Oh, oh, I made it. All right. Now, the second left. Yep, yep. Oh, 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 oh. Turn left on Market Street. All right, all right. Now, let's see what this car is going to do. I guess they're going to sit there. I got the swing all crazy to get up through here. We made it. Yep, we made it. All right. All right, folks, we are here. We are here. Yep, yep. What a deal, what a deal. All right. Get y'all up here on the dash for a minute. My paperwork. All right. We recording. Welcome to Mars. How can I help you today, sir? Wanted to deliver this candy. Deliver some candy. Yep, yep. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, all right, folks. We made it through the gate. Yep, yep. We made it through. Now let's get up in here and drop this wagon and pick up another one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There's another one of our trucks here, folks. Yep, yep, it's Gator Orange. You see? Paul see even went as far as putting the F on the side of it. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Now I got to find me an empty. I done rode this whole front yard so far. Nothing. Got a few loaded ones here, but they all just come in here, so I guess I'm gonna have to go to the back. Yep, yep. Looks that way. Oh boy. I'm hoping I can find one that's clean with it being, look at the temperature here, folks. 108 degrees with it being 108 degrees i'm hoping like hell i can find one that's clean <laughs> i don't have to clean out because good lord it's hot all right folks i got my trailer and i got lucky I ain't even have to get up in there and clean it or nothing. Yes, sir. It's already nice and clean. Got a full tank of fuel. That don't happen too often. 
but it did this time, so yes, sir, yes, sir. Now, go fight some traffic, go to Waco. Uh, I really wanted to stop right here for today, but I'm going to Waco. It's all right. So, let's get her done, folks. It pays more anyways to go down to Waco. So, yeah, I'll go to Waco. I was just trying to be lazy. I'm tired. And uh, I'm hungry. Fat boy hungry and them steaks has been marinating since I went to Walmart today. Cause they got marinated as soon as I come out of Walmart. Them steaks got marinated. And man, they gonna be good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that, folks. We got us a W9. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Only thing that W9 missing is the studio sleeper. Uh huh. Anywho, let's see what that bluebird's doing. He's coming on past, or what he's doing? Come on, Bluebird. Come on, Bluebird. We got some of their old trailers. I think we got like three or four of them that's got the blue front on them. They're old Martin trailers. They still good old trailers. They might have millions of miles on them, but they still good old trailers. Yep, yep. In fact, you want me to be honest, I think these newer ones we got, we have more problems out these newer ones than we do them older ones. But, yeah. Anywho. Alright, let's get up here and check out. Alright, alright, folks. We got out of there. Yep, yep. Now it's time to go to Waco. So, yes, sir, let's go. All right. And we're off. Turn right at the stop sign. Go ahead and turn these hazards off. I don't need them no more. I'm off the yard. And. I only got 120 miles to go, folks. No big deal. But it's 120 miles of hell because of the Dallas traffic. It's 4.30 Friday afternoon, Dallas. Yeah. Oh, my God. It is bad but what you gonna do all I can do is keep on keeping on turn right on West Airport Freeway all right folks so yeah those of you to come in from yesterday to see if I made it here so I made it. And now I got to go another 120 miles. <laughs> hey, yay! Uh, well, it is what it is. Man. This old girl over here walking across the bridge. 
it's 108 degrees outside and she's wearing black jeans with a blue jean jacket. Are you serious right now? It's 100, are you serious? <laughs> Man. Not me. No, no, Turn no. Left at the traffic light. I'm sorry about that, folks. I had to go into my phone and delete yesterday's content. I had deleted it from my main part, but I hadn't got rid of it out of trash. So it was telling me I had reached my limit. Come on, wait a minute. I ain't recorded that damn much. But yeah, it was still in the trash folder, so I had to get rid of it. But anywho, uh, I'm thinking about going a different way today. We might go up here in Beltline Road and go through that way, cross over to 20. But then when I get to 20, I'm still going to have traffic. So I don't know if it'd be better off just to go on and fight the traffic now or fight it later. Either way, I'm going to have to fight it. Hmm. 20 traffic might be a little worse. I don't know. I don't know. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. He's a kid just come through that red light. I wasn't recording, but he come through that red light kid wearing a backpack on his little BMX dirt bike. you pedaling his little heart out with his backpack on right down the center of the lane with four cars behind him. He had no intentions on getting out their way. I even watched him when he went on past. I watched him on down the road and he was still pedaling away. Never got out their way even when he got through the intersection. Uh-huh. Right here is where I got to make the decision. Well, I decide on staying on this one. right here. May as well just deal with the traffic now and don't have to worry about it later. Yep, yep. Uh, so let's go, let's go all the flags folks yep yep there's all the flags right now we roll it along pretty good i don't expect it to last too long but we're low rolling pretty good right this moment so yep yep let's go so far so good folks so far so good y'all can see dallas off there in the distance well, not now, but see the tops of a couple of the buildings. But anyhow, yeah, we fixed to be going back through the city, headed south. Yep, yep. That's where I'll get my thumbnail, probably going through the city, going back this way. I'll give me a thumbnail picture. Anywho, all right. Well, I spoke too soon, folks. I spoke way too soon. I should have kept my damn mouth shut because <laughs> just another two miles up the road here, I said, Oh, God. And this is not even moving. No way. Maybe I should have went another way. But like I said, I'd have been on 20 sitting in the same thing. So either way, it is what it is. All right, all right, all right. Yay. <laughs> I made it through the worst part of it. Hopefully that's 
the only part of the traffic I got to deal with. Hopefully, now when I get down south of 20, there might be more traffic, so yeah. There's a little two hour trip down to Waco, it might turn into four hours. But anyways, it is what it is. It's Chris. Well, I thought I made it out of it until at least I got to I-20 and uh, yeah, I am nowhere close to I-20 yet and y'all see, it is stopping. Yep, yep. Oh boy. What a deal. I love my job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep telling myself that. <laughs> uh, maybe it'll come true. Uh huh. Anywho. Keep plugging along. There's I 20. Alright, we south of I 20, folks. Oh, yeah. Don't know how long it's going to last, but we're moving pretty good right now. So, still got 94 miles to go. It is 6.30. I've been a whopping 20 miles in 40 minutes. Oh, boy. Well, better than what I thought. I was thinking it was going to be worse than that. So let's go. We got 49. Folks, 49 miles, and we'll be down here to Waco to pick up the load. And then it is five miles from there back to the truck stop. So, about 54 miles total. And this day will be over with. It is 10 after 7 my time. Yeah, 10 after 7 my time. But that's okay. We'll get it done and then, yep, yep, we'll go to bed. All right, folks, here's my exit here on Waco. Yep, yep, we're about four and a half miles from our pickup point. We'll go in there and get that load and then it's about four miles back over to the truck stop. And then I am officially friggin' done for today. See the mileage I've done today? I'm over my mark. Y'all know I like to do like 600. That's normally my limit. And when I got to Dallas, I was at 604. Now I'm at 716. I am done when I get to the truck stop. Yep, yep. Let's go, let's go. All right, folks. We almost here. Right up here on the left. This is the pickup yard. This ain't where they load them at. This is just the drop yard. But yeah. Oh, they got yard jockeys that run them. I think it's like a mile or so up around the corner. That's where they go to load them. Arriving at Waco on the left. But any ever who? This is where I go to pick them up. See, before we used to bring loaded trailers in here, we'd drop them up on the hill over there to, to the right. We would drop loads over there and then pick up loads. Now it was back before the Dallas become part of our routine. Now we got to Dallas. So we go to Dallas, drop, grab an empty, come down here, drop, grab a load and go back to Atlanta. 
Oh, yep, yep. Let's get her done. Folks, we're going in. That box temperature, the trailer temperature, was 102 degrees inside that trailer. Sheesh. Good thing I had no candy in there right now. If they'd been Starburst, it'd have been Starburst juice. Star juice. <laughs> been like, yeah, Star juice. Skittles would be, yeah. Juice. <laughs> it would none of it be, especially chocolate. Lord, M and M's. <laughs> You'd have some chocolate milk. Uh, all right. Let's get back here and drop this trailer. I've had my belly full of today. I hope, God, I hope this trailer here is not jacked up to the moon. I'm in no mood with it being 108 degrees outside. To mess with no damn aggravating ass landing gear. Although, with the number of trailer it is, trailer 24, that's one of them that if it is jacked up, which I don't see it, I see 29, but if it is jacked up, that's one of them that I can crank fairly easy. But, yeah, I still hadn't seen it. Well, where the hell is that? Huh. There's 52. 52's an empty. Hmm. Oh, here it is. Nope, that's 21. Well, I'll be a son of a biscuit. Oh, I see it over there. Maybe. Yep, that's 24 over there with the door open. Okay. That one right there with the blue front on it. Now I just gotta drop this trailer and get that one. See, here's another one of our Bluebird trailers. That used to be Martin. Hey folks, I'll get back with y'all shortly. Hey folks, I'm all hooked up. Now I got to go out here and sign my life away over some candy. Well, you know, I was rushing to get up here to beat that cat, but hell, I had my trailer dropped and hooked to my other trailer before that cat LLM had even got back into the hole and dropped. So I wanted to get ahead of him because he seemed like he's dragging his feet. And now I get behind another mega carrier. Damn, that horn scared shit out of me. That dude coming through there blowing the horn scared the hell out of me. Like what the hell's going to happen? I'm in a parking lot. <laughs> Don't hit me. Uh, Lord have mercy. I'm like, I know there's no train tracks right here. What the hell? Okay, anyhow. All right. Here we go. Pull up here to check out. It shouldn't take too long. He's already coming out here to look at it. So we should be out of here pretty quick. I know I'm ready to get the flock up out of here. Sheesh. Been a long day. All right, all right, all right. Now we are going to the truck stop to be done for the day. I'm so tired of driving. Lord, it's well past my bedtime. It's 20 after 8 my time. Damn. I normally... 
having some wet dreams by this point. Sawed up some logs. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, well. It is what it is. The boss man wanted me to do something, so I got her done. on this bumpy ass road or go a different way. Yeah, let's go. Let's go this different way. I'm tired of all these bumps. So we gonna go a different way. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll get back with you folks in a minute. Here we are. I'm going back here to my favorite spot here at this truck stop because right there, two trucks over, is where my front end got tore up. And I'm not going to let that happen again. So I'll go around back here and hang out. So I always stop up front and go fill my truck up first, or cup. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that black peat. All right, folks. It's going to be the end of the video for today. If y'all made it this far, thanks for watching TTVE. Oh yeah, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. 65% of my views are unsubscribed, so hit that subscribe button, folks. And again, thanks for watching.